We're here at Shepherd's Manor Creamery in New Windsor and Carroll County, where they make some of the very best cheese in all of Maryland. But they have a very unique approach to it. Want to guess? Shepherd's Manor Creamery is the first and only sheep dairy in the state of Maryland. We wanted to do true artisan cheese like they do over in Europe. I love the sound of animals eating. It's great. Michael and Colleen Histon began raising sheep almost 14 years ago. We are a farm set operation, meaning that we raised animals that produced the milk that I used to make cheese. Our sheep are a combination of two breeds. The East Frisian, which comes from Austria, where the Holstein cow comes from. And then the ones that are totally white are Lacone, and they are from France. They give me my higher butter fat content and a higher protein like a Jersey cow would. In addition to grain, the sheep eat hay and grass. As the seasons change, the grass changes, and that affects the taste and quality of the milk. We try to do as much raw milk as we can, and you can taste the flavors in the cheese as the age progresses. Twice. Twice a day, all 83 sheep on the farm get milked. And it's time for the afternoon milking, and these gals are eager for it. So go ahead, girls, go ahead. You got a real production line going here. It tries to be. First thing we do is we're going to clean off the teats. We want to get any dirt or any potential for any pathogens to come off the animal. I have the feeling that they realize that I'm a total amateur at this business. With the teats utterly clean, we can begin harvesting some milk. And look at it, it's really coming out. And it's just suction filling it right up. Correct. And then the tapping you hear is, is what's called a pulsator. And what it does is it's mimicking the pulsation of a little lamb suckling. Pull out that. So if we were to turn the pulsator off, no milk would come out at all. You have to have the pulsation in order for it to work. Amazing. The sheep's job is done. Time to make the cheese. Colleen has turned on the milk flow, so it's coming through. Are we pasteurizing today? No, no. We're going to make a raw cheese. Mm -hmm. Raw cheese goes a lot faster. Mm -hmm. You're not heating the milk up as hot. Main switch. Pasteurization kills pathogens, which can be present in raw milk. But it also ends up removing some of the good vitamins that are in the milk. So by maintaining that, you're keeping the integrity of the milk. Shepherd's Manor Creamery is one of only two dairies in Maryland certified to make raw cheese. Today, Colleen and I are making a tome, a French soft cheese, so we'd better add some culture. I have four cultures that are going into the cheese that we're making today. Just sprinkle it in, right. and that's gonna change your flavor components in your milk. So two of the cultures are cultures for ripening. We will let it stir for- Ripening keeps the cheese from molding. Lastly, the renin coagulates the milk. Just that little bit of rennet is responsible for this That's entire correct. tub. From here, the curd is cut up so we can separate the whey. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, so. Well, it sure won't be with me doing it. <laughs> Once in the molds, they're pressed to remove any remaining whey. And then, off to the aging room. In the final stage of cheese making, time is the most important ingredient. In time, the cheese will dry, forming a rind, while the cultures create a barrier that protects the cheese and helps create its ultimate flavor. As it ages, it becomes nuttier and harder and, and really nice. That sounds tasty. I think it's time for a bite. Well, Colleen, when we asked you to prepare something for us using cheese, that wasn't too tough an ask, was it? No, Hal, it wasn't. <laughs> Tell me what we've got here. So I brought out my camembert, which is a bloomy rind style, and then my juniper, which has cardamom, juniper berry, and ginger. I could smell it all the way over here. It's really wonderful. Thank you. But the piece de resistance is this beautiful quiche that you put together for us. 
What's in this? It has zucchini and mushroom and sun-dried tomato, two of my cheeses, the ukrem, and one of my harder rinded cheeses. It's fabulous, and you can taste every single ingredient. Can we use the recipe put it on our website? Absolutely. Let people try it at home. Oh, well, I don't think they're going to do it as well as you did. Folks, just go to mpt.org slash farm and look for the recipe. It's going to be great. To get the recipe featured in this video, click the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future stories. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest.